Okay, let's look at this question here. y equals 1 over 16 quantity x minus 2 squared minus 1. So, first question is, is how does this thing open? Well, you know because y is by itself, this is going to be a traditional parabola. You know because the this value, which is 1 over 4p, is positive. You also know it's going to open up. So the y tells me it's up or down. The positive 1 over 16 tells me it's up. If it was negative, it would open down. What's the value of p? Well, 1 over 16 is going to equal to 1 over 4p. And if you're confused with this, look at the other video. I showed you guys how 1 over 4p is, when, when our conic is written in this format, that 1 over 4p is uh, what 1 over 16 is equal to. Again, 1 is equal to 1, so 16 equals 4p. So 16 equals 4p, so p is 4. So the value of p is 4. Uh, next up, we've got to figure out the vertex. For the vertex, just be careful. Make sure you're looking at what you need to be looking at. Um, the vertex is going to be based off this value and this value. Now remember, when it's in the parentheses, the opposite is going to be positive 2. The one on the outside, exactly the way it shows, negative 1. And there we go. So, uh, what's next? Uh, we have the focus is next. But to find the focus, I think from here it's helpful to draw a sketch. So let me draw a sketch of what my picture is going to look like. Here's my xy plane. Uh, my parabola is going to be at 2 comma negative 1. So here's 1, 2. Here's negative 1. Here's my parabola vertex. Uh, 2, negative 1. And then uh, we know it opens up. And let's find, let's find the focus. So the focus is p units away from the vertex. So we're 4 units away. Now keep in mind we're going up. So we're going to add 4 here. So this is going to be... Uh, negative 1 plus 4, which is 3. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3. And this is where my focus is. So again, let's count. If we go up, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, because P is 4. Or you can just add 4 to negative 1, because it's affecting the Y component, because it's opening up, and you'd get your focus. Uh, what I'm going to do a little differently on this one, is I'm going to go ahead and figure out my focal cord. Uh, Endpoints. Okay. So, by the way, the focus here, we, we said plus 4, right? So we said 2, comma 3. Okay, so how do we figure out the focal cord endpoints? Well, we said it's just 2p to the right and 2p to the left. So... We, P is 4, so 2 times 4 is 8. So I count 8 to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess I have to write the word focal cord endpoint somewhere else. So I went 8, we said this is over here. And this is at what value? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6. Let's see if that makes sense. If my center is at 2, 2 plus 2 minus 8 is negative 6. That makes sense. And I'm going to go 8 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that would be here. That would be what value? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see if that makes sense. So we said that the uh, center, I'm sorry, the vertex was 2, negative 1, so 2 plus 8 is 10. That is 10. We're okay. So our parabola opens like such. So we know that our endpoints are going to be at 6, comma, 3. I'm sorry, I keep saying 6. Negative 6, comma, 3. And the other end point is going to be at 10, comma, 3. Okay? Um, so I'll go ahead and write FC for focal cord, LR for what it's called, which is the lattice rectum, end points, which
which are going to be negative 6, 3, and 10, 3. Okay, so what's next? Uh, the directrix. So the directrix is p in the opposite direction. So if we go p f up 4, then we have to go p 2, 3, 4, down 4, and this gives me my directrix. Now, if you recall from the last video, I said that it's a y equals graph. So this means that this line right here is going to be uh, a y equals graph, right? And you know this because it's horizontal. What's the exact value? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is y equals 5. Okay? So this is going to be the directrix. Alright, the only other thing I'm lacking here is the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is this line that goes up and down. It makes the figure symmetrical. In other words, it cuts the figure left and right. That is always going to be this equal to zero. So you can visualize, you can see that it's x equals 2. But if you want another way of doing it, x minus 2 equals 0. So x equals 2. And there's our axis of symmetry, which I'm going to abbreviate A of S. Okay, there you have it. Hopefully that makes sense, and I'll see you all in the next video.